We are covering many angles of this war between Israel and Hamas. We start with News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell, who's looking into the role local sailors are playing in the conflict in the Middle East. Ann? Yeah, it was just on Friday that a ship uh, deployed to the eastern Mediterranean from Jacksonville. That ship is crewed by more than 300 sailors. A retired admiral tells me they could be deployed for months. He says whatever happens out there, the Navy will be prepared. Sailors hugged loved ones goodbye at Naval Station Mayport Friday as they prepared to embark on a mission to the eastern Mediterranean on USS Mason. It's a guided missile destroyer armed with torpedoes, a mounted gun, missiles, and a defense system. Retired Admiral Bob Natter described it as an advanced and versatile ship. Number one is air defense, has very capable surface-to-air missile range and speed to intercept any incoming aircraft or hostile missile. In a statement Saturday, the Navy said the ship departed Mayport for a scheduled deployment as part of the Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group, which includes an aircraft carrier comprised of more than 5,000 sailors. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin also said Saturday that he directed the Carrier Strike Group to begin moving toward the eastern Mediterranean. Last week, he directed the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group, which also includes an aircraft carrier manned by more than 5,000 and sailors to the eastern Mediterranean. The goal, he says, is deterrence. But if deterrence fails, they're there in order to uh, strike or undertake the orders of the commander-in-chief. In a statement, the USS Mason's commanding officer said, I am extremely proud of the incredible work this crew has put in over the past year and a half. I am excited to see us excel in our assignments as we head east with the strike group. Mason is more than ready to answer the call for any tasking we may receive. The ship's motto, proudly we serve, displayed on command ball caps as sailors prepared for the long journey ahead. Natter said in general it would take a ship like the Mason about a week to 10 days to get all the way to the eastern Mediterranean. He says that can be expedited, though, in the case of an emergency. For now, reporting live from Jacksonville and Maxwell, Channel 4, the local station.